Hi guys, this is a two minute, roughly two to three minute clip from uh, the interview that I, the, the full hour long interview I just posted with uh, Tim Garrett, a atmospheric physicist from the University of Utah. So just for folks who didn't make it to the end, or people who want a slice of what we're talking about, I'm going to offer you this little slice, and then I will put the link to the full interview. So if you like what you hear, go on and listen to the rest, the first 55 minutes. But we're going to let Tim Garrett sum up his... Uh, he's going to answer the question, is there no way out? for global industrial civilization. Take it away, Tim Garrett. Because 55 minutes into this, I still have not heard the answer to your question, is there no way out? There's no way out. There you go. There is no way out for any system, <laughs> but there is no way out, most certainly for us. Either we collapse this century to prevent continued destruction of the environment and emissions of carbon dioxide, or we continue the way we have and the increased concentrations of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and the other um, uh, degrees of destruction of the environment by other means will lead to our collapse. Okay, so maybe I do have time real quick, if you're familiar with my... Uh, podcast, I always end on this note. If you were not talking to Sam Mitchell for one hour, you actually had the mainstream media sticking a microphone in your face, and you have 60 seconds to give the Tim Garrett message to humanity in the waning days of the summer of 2019 to wrap this up. What would those 60 seconds sound like? cannot decouple the economy from the continued need to consume energy. As we consume more and more energy, we will continue to consume more and more matter from the environment and emit more carbon dioxide into our air. We must either collapse this century in order to stop this process of increasing the planet temperatures or the planetary temperatures will continue to rise to such a degree that we will no longer be able to consume energy because global warming will become severe enough that the destruction of civilization by things like sea level rise, rising temperatures, and drought will prevent us from being able to continue as a civilization. All right, so if you enjoyed that, I, I maybe, I don't know, maybe that was a spoiler, but we have 58 more minutes where that came from, and I will put the link to the full interview. Enjoy. Bye, guys.